new car and of course they got their BB guns. This is Kurt and uh, Steve over to school ground. Kurt's packing his six gun there on his side and I think it looks like he's got a submachine gun in his hand. We're, we're moving out, moving our furniture over to a, a house on Maybank Street, which is only a couple of blocks from where we live there. We lived there in this rented house for a couple of months until our new house in Garden Grove was uh, finished and ready to move into. This is a day at Knott's Berry Farm. There's monkeys pulling on Kurt's jacket there, trying to get some peanuts out of him. There we went out to check on our new house. Looks like it's almost ready. About another month. One weekend we went out to uh, Yermo. Out, uh, Calico Ghost Town is out there. Took the kids out there rock hunting. I don't remember that kid in the middle there. This was his dad. I don't remember him either. Yes. Hi, Trace. Wasn't she sweet? I think this was on their birthday. Three years old. This was a this is the backyard of our new house that we had just moved into. I think this is Steve helping uh helping me uh get the new grass started and planted. We moved to Garden Grove um, about the time that they were organizing the new Little League teams for the new season. The boys got on the, on the nights. This is opening day. This is one of the uh, games during the season. I think that's Steve. And of course some of their admiring young ladies. We used to go to the beach a lot. This is one of the times we went down to, uh, I guess, near where uh, Dick and Elaine had a home down there in Dana Point. Elaine Goldman and Esther. That's Elaine's, <clears throat> Elaine's boy, uh, Randy. I'm pouring this patio slab. This is Lake Nacimiento, up by uh, uh, Paso Robles. I built a fueling um, facility there for Standard Oil. Here's the Knights. Jim Laurie was manager and I was coach. Yahoo! Well, we got 
moved into our new home, new furniture, put up a patio, and then got down to some serious playing. Looks like they were going to somebody's birthday party. This was a team pool party for the Knights. Uh, looks like Mike in the tub and me beside him there. I don't recognize who the dude in the sunglasses is there but with me and Jim Laurie. We're on vacation up to Levining Creek. This is Steve with a snake, I believe. I think this was a year he fell down on a rock at uh, Lundy and knocked a big gash in his nose, bridge of his nose. Mike with the garter snake they found. Almost had gave Esther a conniption fit. I think this was a camp spot uh, along the West Walker River, looks like. Yeah, that's a spot uh, we've camped at uh, many times, on the way uh, north of Bridgeport, about five, six miles south of the town of Walker. This is Walt laying in the pool. As I remember, he he joined us up there for a few days. I guess we must have gone up to Carson City or Reno or somewhere. Yeah, we went up to Lake Tahoe and stayed at the Cal Neva Lodge on the North Shore. This is Esther at uh, Dynamo Pond, a fishing, uh, little fishing spot. We, uh, used to go to just south of Bridgeport. We used to catch some nice golden trout out of this lake, uh, Helen Lake. It's uh, behind Saddlebag. Back home in the patio. Wasn't it nice to be 11 years old? Not dog, Christmas time again. You look pretty shy there, Tracy. Tracy seems to be playing the part of a grandmother here. Esther got a new lamp to hang over the stereo. That's Walt over in the uh, corner chair. Guess Mike took the picture. There's another New Year's Eve party. This is uh, Elaine and Dick Goldman. Me and Alta May. Couple of good looking chicks, huh? Jim Laurie uh, had the night. Jim uh, Jim Laurie had the uh, Knights in 1963, and I coached with him. This is his wife, uh, Diane, and her two daughters, uh, Denise, the one that's about eight or ten there. 
and then her other little daughter you know, with Kurt and Tracy. This is opening day ceremonies in 1964.